It is one of the most renowned tourist destinations in East China. For over a thousand years, generations of poets have been inspired by the beauty of its iconic Mogan Mountain and left numerous literature classics. It is a place you can't miss to get away from the hustle and bustle of urban life. This is Deqing, where are one of the best places to take in Mogan Mountain in all its glory. <laughs> It is so spectacular. Makes me want to start exploring. Actually, Mogan Mountain is one of the best summer getaways in China for those looking to escape from the hot, humid month. A trip here for a few days have been quite popular with many across the Delta region. Mm. You know, I just checked. It's only 15 minutes away from Hangzhou by high-speed train. So, local B&Bs must do great business. They do. They aren't just run by locals. Actually, many foreigners have opened guest houses here in Deqing, and some have been reviewed by travel enthusiasts worldwide. <laughs> Can't wait to start checking them out. Mogan was a tranquil retreat in the 1800s for foreigners living in China. Today, the place has regained popularity as the new generation seeks tranquility and adventures in the natural world. 31-year-old Bishao Tapa is originally from Nepal and is among the most recent wave of foreigners lured by the mountain. A silver medalist in the men's paragliding team at the Asian Games in Jakarta in 2018, he moved to China with his wife in 2020 to open a guest house at the foot of Morgan. So here we like to treat our guest as a friend, so we can share our culture and we can culture exchange. So my future plan is to make one paragliding club and then I'd like to share my knowledge and my experience to the, everyone in the world. And then for the guest house, I'd like to make one platform that if the guest or any paragliding pilot, they come to visit here and they can enjoy and relax the beautiful scenery in Morgan Sam. Yang Jiale, or the B&Bs run by foreigners, are as famous as Morgan Mountain. These proprietors are integral to any stay here, with their insider knowledge of the best ways to experience Morgan. In 2021 alone, the over 900 guest houses in Ditching hosted over 7.2 million tourists, up 7.2% year on year, despite COVID-19. Over 2.9 billion yuan in tourist revenue was generated as a result up 6.4%, making the guest house industry the pillar of the whole county and providing considerable career opportunities. Chen Yu is one of more than 6,000 people that work in the guest house industry. For me, a guest house should not just be a place for bed and breakfast, but also it can be a place for cultural communication. Young people come here can have inspirations from the natural surroundings in a rural context, uh, which they could never have in the context of the city. We will try to build more connections with the museums and art galleries in Shanghai, uh, so as to import more excellent artist, artistic resources and enable contemporary art to take root here. As the number of guest houses continues to increase, proprietors are also trying their best to stand out. Some have developed into maker spaces for art design, while others have repositioned to be outdoor retreat centers. The New York Times once listed Morgan Mountain as one of the 45 places to go worldwide. Tourism, however, is not the only way that Deqing practices high-quality development. That's all I know. But if we describe tourists as the import of Deqing, actually the main export are these pianos. Mm -hmm. I heard that one in seven pianos produced in China comes from this very village. It is the largest piano manufacturing center in the Yangtze River Delta. And what's most remarkable about it, this place used to be full of mines. Wow, that's astonishing. Donghang is home to around a hundred companies producing pianos and parts from pin blocks to pedals, creating over 50,000 pianos annually. Of the over 8,000 components needed in piano manufacturing, each and every one is produced here. 
However, just over 20 years ago, Donghang was a mining village, which at its height was home to 18 mining enterprises. While the mines paid handsomely, the damage they caused to the environment was ugly. So locals chose to follow a more sustainable path. 这里原先都是一片矿山的那个坑地，呃，最深的有六十几米。我们这个地方原先是老百姓靠山吃山的。所以在九十年代初呢，我们进行了一个开矿，但到了二零零九年呢，我们意识到了老百姓的口袋是富了，但是环境破坏掉了。所以从二零一一年开始呢，我们又将整整个矿坑呢进行了一个填平，造出了这个钢琴纵唱园。一九八四年改革开放初期，我们引进了湖州钢琴厂，也是全国的第五家。经过了十几年的一个发展，培养出了。两百多人的一个非常专业的一个团队，我们一期、二期的钢琴企业进入了四十七家，也解决了我们的村民有一千多人的一个就业问题，同时又为村集体经济呢带来了呃一千多万的一个稳定的一个收入。我们从事粗放型的发展模式，到一个向生态友好型产业发展这么一种呃发展趋势啊。然后来提高老百姓的生活，让我们的乡村变得更美，农民变得更富。These pianos are sold to more than 20 countries and regions in Europe and Southeast Asia, generating over 500 million yuan in revenue and providing jobs to over 3,500 people. What comes to your mind first when you think of a cement plant? Well, I think about noise and dust and pollution for sure. But actually, here in Dutching, there is a cement plant that guarantees zero discharge of polluted water. Wow! Now this is something I have to see for myself. Let's check it out. Let's go. We produce is a environmental protection part. We have taken a few measures. The cement plant has been fully opened. The main goal is to reduce the flow of the pollutants. The other part of the cement plant has been fully opened. The main goal is to reduce the flow of the pollutants. The other 雨水收集池、码头这个废水处理和码头安全环保大棚啊，这些措施。在水处理方面，我们有配置了两千立方的雨水收集池，进行循环利用，用于生产这个冷却水。啊，污水这一块，我们进行了中水处理，也是循环再利用的。部分进这个生产循环水，部分是用于花木浇灌。啊，水泥厂通过这样改造分界之后。基本上已经给人们一种颠覆性的呃感觉。原来水泥厂晴天一身灰，雨天一身呃一身泥，现在树叶已经是一尘不染。The seven million tons of cement produced annually here is mainly sold across Zhejiang, the neighboring province of Jiangsu, and Shanghai. What has become cleaner and greener is not just industry like the cement plant, but the whole county. Ditching has regreened about 376 hectares of its land in the past three years. Over 200,000 trees have been planted in the year 2022 alone. Since 2016, the starting year of the 13th five-year plan period, Ditching has been committed to upgrading its manufacturing industry through innovation-driven development. 24 research institutes have opened. And experts have been recruited from across the country. Now it ranks among the top 100 counties for industrial development nationwide. Meanwhile, Duqing has also accelerated its expansion of the digital economy with the first county-level AI innovation and development pilot zone. As a result, Duqing's average disposable income increased from 37,000. 429 yuan in 2016 to 57,837 in 2021, an increase of about 54.5 percent in five years. Here we are at a new basketball court where players from all across Asia will compete in the 3x3 basketball matches in the 19th Asian Games. You know, this is not the first time that Ditching has hosted sports events. They've had marathon running, 
mountain bike racing, and even ultra trail challenges. And also, you know, De Qing has obtained the right to host the 2024 ICF Canoe Polo World Championship. I think this is really a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. Wow, with so many outdoor activities for people to experience and great guest houses to stay in, I can't wait to come back soon. Me either. See you guys next time.